today we're making puffa bread. It's one of my favorite foods, and I'm at my puffa and gra grandma's house. Today we have a special guest, my puffa. Let's get started. So I make one thing in the kitchen, and that's whole wheat bread. But the grandkids have loved it so much over their lifetimes that it's now known as puffa bread. Puffa bread. <laughs> Ellie, what I like to do is to start by putting the oil in the bread pan. This is the bread machine pan. Do you want to hold the spoon? We're going to put three of these in there. And it doesn't have to be exact, but we'll do our best. One, you count them. This is probably our first time a grandkid made papa bread. That is correct. Maybe we need to start calling your grandkid bread. Hey. How many was that? Three. Three. That's good. That's what we need. And then we put in the sticky stuff. I like to put the oil in first so the spoon isn't as sticky. And we're going to put in okay. two tablespoons of honey. And some of it might stick to the spoon, so then we'll wash it off with water. Okay, there it goes. Count them out. One tablespoon. Okay. Ready for more? Okay, and then this stuff is also sweet, and it's called blackstrap molasses. Never heard of that before. Yeah, it's sweet, and it's what the people a long time ago used for sugar sometimes. They would grow it on their farms, store them. One, we'll put two of these in. And this actually makes the bread a little bit dark. Okay. I might need a claw. <laughs> Okay, now so, my grandma is getting coffee. Okay, so we have all those liquid things in, except Papa just spilled all the flour. <laughs> okay, and then, hold the spoon over there, this is hot water. I took a cup and a half of water and put it in the microwave for about one minute. And that helps the, the bread rise. But we're going to wash off this spoon. There's a little bit of honey and molasses sticking to the top the inside and the outside. And so I'm gonna wash off that spoon and not waste any honey, not waste any molasses. I'm gonna wash it off with the hot water. Bob, when I touched was it hot? India, Bob, or it was very hot. Yeah, sorry about that. It's always, oh, good, to, it's always good to have a cloth when you make pop pop bread. Yeah. So next we're gonna put in some oatmeal. And this oatmeal, it blends in the bread so much you don't even see it. You wanna put that in? And that's going to go right in the water, and it's going to kind of get soft over time. And then, since it's whole wheat bread, it's mostly whole wheat. But if you put a little bit of white flour in, then that'll help it rise. So that's two cups. Oh, it's Ready? Two. Ready? Mom. There it goes. And then we need one more cup of whole wheat flour, some of which is on the table. <laughs> And now it's back in here. So that's that's half a cup. So two and a half of that. And then we're going to put in half a cup of white flour. flour. And that's going to help it rise. Okay. So that's all the flour. And then there's a few other things we're going to put in. We're going to put in some powdered milk. Some people call it dry milk. And we need two tablespoons of this. I've done this so many times, I have the recipe memorized. I notice when you do your videos, you memorize the recipes sometimes too, don't you? Sometimes. Sometimes. Like those apple sandwiches, yeah. those cup apple, starting mm -hmm. one. You need two of these. How many is that? One. One. Hold it straight over, because Papa tends to spill things. Yes. Oh, let's just finish it off. <laughs> Okay, that's powdered milk. And then, bread always tastes better if you uh, put in some salt. So just a, maybe a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon. So we need the smaller one for this. And I'll put this on the spoon and you can put it in. That's one teaspoon of salt. And then we need one more thing. You know what makes bread rise? What makes it get big? It's called Yeast. So here's some yeast. So we're going to use a teaspoon of this. So 
If you want to dip the teaspoon in there, you want me to do it. And, and shake it off some. There we go. And put that in. And you know why we put the yeast in last? No. Because if you put the yeast in the liquid, especially warm liquid, it's going to start working right away. But we don't want it to work right away. We want it to work in a little while. So we put all this in the bread machine mm -hmm. and then we set it and you can, it takes at least two and a half hours. But if you say, I don't know what, I like to eat my pop-up bread warm at dinner time. And dinner time's five hours from now. You know what you can do? Mm -hmm. You can set the bread machine for five hours and it'll start baking at just at the right time. And the yeast is now working and it's supper time. Everyone walks in and says, oh, what smells so good? And the answer is bread. Papa bread. I'm now, do you think we got everything? I think we're gonna go. Let's put it in the bread machine. <laughs> but you can put that in. I guess we spill it a little bit. Here, I'll use my hand. What? We're not gonna waste any more than we have to. There we go. I'll wipe it off later. Let's put it in the bread machine. And we'll see. This is our bread machine that we've used for years. All the bread, pop up bread you've eaten your whole life has been made in this bread machine. Yeah. Okay. This bread machine is good and tasty. Yes, it is. We put it in, and you know what? You have to lock it in. So you turn it. Now try to lift that up. It's Ooh. locked in. Because underneath there are some things that spin around mm -hmm. and make the dough, mix all the dough. So then we can select if we want it medium or dark. We like medium. And should we just push the start button? That's a start. Yeah. There we go. And Papa Bread will be ready in two hours and 30 minutes. Do you think Sound you can good? wait that long? Hi, everybody. Now we're going to cut the Papa Bread we just made. Are you ready to eat some Papa Bread? Yeah. Let's saw it back and forth, sweetheart. Papa will help you with this big knife. And you know what? Do you think we should cut some extra pieces for grandma to try it and your mom and your brother and your sister? Yeah. Okay, let's cut a couple of pieces and then we'll turn them and cut them in half. And what do we have to put on our pop up bread today? My homemade jelly from my outdoor cooking video. You mean that strawberry jam? Yes. I love that stuff. Yes. It's it's from my cooking video. Ellie, what would you like on your pop-up bread? The homemade jam. The whole homemade strawberry jam. Is this the jam that you and Grandma made? Yes. That looks so good. Is this piece you want to eat? Oh, that looks good. Homemade bread with homemade jam. Yeah. Why don't you take a bite and let us know what you think. You can put a spoon down. Let us know what you think. If it's good, maybe I'll have a piece. Mm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. It's good, folks. Okay, Enjoy mind. your own pop up bread. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.